Hi, in this problem, we're going to be working out this integral. This is from a book written by H.P. Phillips. The book is called Integral Calculus, and it was published in 1917. And this problem is actually very simple, but I thought I should go ahead and work it out and show you how to do it. So this is what's called an improper integral. So in calculus books today, whenever you have an infinity here or a negative infinity here, uh, the integral is said to be improper. Um, also, um, if there are any you know, discontinuities in the interval, uh, the integral is said to be uh, improper as well. So for example, if you were integrating uh, from negative one to one, one over x dx, this would also be considered improper because uh, it has a discontinuity at zero and zero is between these numbers. And in case, that's not what we're dealing with here. So this integral here, the first thing that you're supposed to do is replace the infinity with a variable. So I like to use letter B. So I'll write limit, b approaches infinity, and then we go from zero to b, and then one over one plus x squared dx. Now in this uh, book by um, Phillips, he does not do that, right? He skips all of this work, and uh, in, in some parts he'll even write, you know, stuff like limit b equals infinity. I mean, that's a common thing um, that you'll see th throughout the book. So. Um, a little bit different than what's done today, but it goes to show that, you know, just because uh, it's different doesn't mean that it doesn't work. So we'll avoid that notation and we'll stick with the arrow notation. This here is going to give us arctan. So this is the limit as b approaches infinity of the arctangent of x. And we're going from zero to b. Okay. And that's just a formula from calculus that um, people memorize. When you have a definite integral like this, you first plug in the upper limit of integration. So this is the limit as b approaches infinity of arctan of b. So arctangent of b. And then you subtract and then you plug in the zero. So this would be arctan of zero, like that. Okay, so now we have to think about the graph of arctan uh, and to figure out what this is. So the graph of arctan looks like this. This is the x-axis and this is the y-axis. And arctan has two horizontal asymptotes. It has one here at pi over two and it has one here at negative pi over two. And it looks something like that. So as b approaches infinity, again, this is the graph of y equals, let's say, arctan x. As b approaches infinity, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger, the y values here get closer and closer to this horizontal asymptote. So this approaches pi over two, so this is pi over two. And the arctan of zero, as you can see from the graph, is zero. So we simply get pi over two. So the answer to this problem is that this is equal to pi over two. And that's it. So hopefully this video uh, has taught you something and maybe you've learned uh, something. Good luck.